Welcome to the virtual gallery tour of the exhibition Spaces of No Control. It's an exhibition focusing on the notion of the city and its signifying dystopias of the 20th and 21st centuries, a phenomenon that has left many bewildered as how to progress in urban landscapes is determined by only an elite few. So the majority of city dwellers have to cope with the imposed laws on an existential territory, which is claimed by a heterogeneous mass of people who have to face constant changes without their ability to interact. So the core of the exhibition is formulated by photographic outlooks on the city and its social strata, which is also then transferred into other media in order to reflect on the artistic modalities of how to come to terms with a reality, which to many no longer seems real. The exhibition Spaces of No Control tackles the issue of the public and the possibilities of individual interference from a variety of angles. The works stem from historical observations and lead to a present in which the viability of exhibition making is equally at stake, as many spaces inherit a temporary character to the political or capitalist reign. So the ubiquitous loss of influence prompts an artistic discourse that examines spatial and social conditions in the wake of a co-existential crisis, which has been brought to new heights in the most recent decades of the 21st century. Kai Valkowiak's video, Minimal Vandalism, is shown in the entrance area of the ACF and uh, was shot amidst an installation at the former art space Generali Foundation in Vienna. And there a skateboarder approaches the artworks and sculptures as a test of endurance and skillfully leaves its traces. He includes the objects in his acrobatics, gliding up onto them, sliding across their surfaces and directly jumping over them. So the reverberating soundtrack breaks the impression of silence emanating from the minimal sculptures. And in this work, Volkoviak deals with the essence of minimal art and how such objects are perceived in public and ironically treated. Francis Reiter has been working with the Library of Congress, Farm Security Administration and Office of War Information Archives since uh, 2009 in order to bring his lifelong interest in the architectures and technologies of representation closer to the surface of his work. And uh, this archive played a critical role in the development of an American identity, even while it unintentionally documents the persistence and reproduction of older technologies and uh, the embedding of old narratives in the new. And uh, his recent works have experimented with abstract processes behind the reproduction of picture technologies, as well as material experiments in um, the works themselves, which can be seen in a wallpaper and the abstracted painting on this wallpaper in the lobby of the ACF. Terrence Simon's series, An American Index of the Hidden and Unfamiliar, reveals that which lies hidden and out of view within the borders of the United States, confronting viewers with the divide between those with and without the privilege of access to certain information, sites, and institutions. Simon examines a culture through documentation of publicly restricted or difficult to access spaces relating to areas such as science, government, medicine, entertainment, nature, security, and religion. So with or without subjects present, these sites allude to the concealed infrastructure of control that is integral to America's foundation, mythology, and daily functioning. Bali Export belongs to the generation of the early conceptual artist and was a pioneering artist in uh, not only Austria but also internationally. And she very early on recycled images and sequences from her own production into new works. And uh, this was like an artistic strategy that questions the traditional idea of the image's authenticity. So she investigates the body as a membrane between the self and the public a membrane which is image and sign and where the female body is inscribed into society. Her early short film, Syntagma, is like a fixed gaze that someone exchanges with him or herself, as if he or she were two people, with eyes staring at oneself and the unyielding gaze of the camera, thereby focusing on the intertwining structures of the body and its surrounding architecture. Hans Hake shows the documentation of a work which he did in Graz, Austria in 1988 as part of the festival Steirischer Herbst, the Styrian Autumn. And there he re-erected an obelisk uh, with which the Nazis honored the city as the city of people's uprising in 1938. 
so the work featured the slogan and you were victorious after all which was basically inscribed underneath a big swastika and the installation itself was conceived 50 years after the Anschluss which was Hitler Germany's annexation of Austria and earned uh, protest from various angles Despite uh, having had constant surveillance, uh, the work was set on fire in the night of November 3, 1988, shortly before it was supposed to be taken down anyway. But here it kind of burned down completely and uh, this also led to multiple press coverage. And dealing with the history of Austria and also the Nazi past, this work can up to now be considered one of the most important contributions to Austrian art history. In their work Performing Publicness, which was commissioned especially for the exhibition at the ACF, Sabine Bitt and Helmut Weber take up urban interim zones accessible to the public, which also function as shelters for the homeless. In the vicinity to the ACF, and actually on the same street, a few blocks down, a building owned by BlackRock investors offers a public indoor zone with a cafe, which is not only frequented by business people, but also by those in need of shelter. And the work in the exhibition consists of two curtains with photographic prints in a reversed black and white effect, which invite visitors to see the real place and then come back to gauge its photographic representation. The installation Could You Visit Me in Dreams by Tony Cox reflects on the city of Vienna and functions like a travel guide or personal notebook that comments on important historical figures and events associated with the city which, um, in accordance with the title, also includes Sigmund Freud and uh, psychoanalytical modes of thinking. At other times there are names and they're only alluded to by their initials, such as uh, the writer K as Franz Kafka. And uh, a second layer in the installation is uh, dedicated to various clubs and music ven venues in Vienna and uh, the experiences one can make there. And then Cox uses music by groups such as Burial, Mount Kimby, or Scritti Politi, and uh, reinforces the ambience that felt in such clubs, and then also lets you delve into a descriptive and acoustic universe that um, arouses interest in visiting the real place. So Cox creates an uh, imaginary identity of a city and uh, leaves it up to the spectators or future visitors to make up their minds and uh, embark on an experiential journey. Thank you.